another episode of Live Your Life with Love It. Friends, it's amazing to have you here again. I'm always excited to have you to be in your in your space on this Live Your Life with Love It segment. I'm your host, Love It, and I started a series, The Best of You. Now, previously, I said, you matter. You matter. And I can recall saying that it is advisable, it is wise, it is better for you to dare to be you, to love you, to like you, right? To accept you, to celebrate you. Yeah, it is. Because self-acceptance, self-appreciation definitely precedes self-actualization. Mm -hmm. If you don't love you, who would? Who should? If you don't believe in you, who should? Right? So, the will to achieve more is predicated on a very healthy and positive self-appraisal. I'm not really um, concerned about what someone else, other people, the world is thinking about you. I'm concerned about what you think of you, right? How you appraise yourself, how you see yourself. The question is, do you appreciate yourself well enough? Right, so that's what we talked about um, during the, the previous episode. And I know you would probably uh, start going, go to YouTube and, you know, go back again and, and watch what so that you can get more of those um, teachings. Now, upon the premise of that, Jesus is interested in you. So, you have to appreciate yourself and appreciate the goodness in you. Some might just think, what's there to appreciate? Whoa, you know, but wait a minute. Do you know there are certain things you can never accomplish? There are certain things you can never accomplish until you acknowledge the good in you. <laughs> there are certain things there are certain heights you can never get to until you dare to accomplish the good in you yeah self-condemnation low self-esteem low self um appraisal i beg your pardon self-condemnation low self-appraisal you know some people find it so hard to see anything good in themselves and i know that that is the work of the enemy Okay, he, he walks through certain persons around you, yeah, who tend to talk down on you, who tend to make you, um, you know, feel less by the things that they say and, you know, stuff like that. But one thing you must know is what Jesus said. The key here is for you to hold on to what Jesus said concerning you. You and I. John chapter 10, verse 10. Remember our scriptural theme? Jesus said, I am come that ye might have life and have it to the full, have it more abundantly. More abundantly. Jesus came just for you. I said you because you are worth it. Because you are worth it. There's something spectacular about you. You are absolutely worth it. And Philemon chapter 1 verse 6 makes us to realize that he said, he said that your faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. Meaning, until you acknowledge that there's something good in you, nothing good will come out of you. I didn't say until they acknowledge. For those who are waiting for somebody else to affirm them, for somebody else, someone else or, or some persons to, you know, to hype them. So that they can feel good and all that. No. He said until you acknowledge the good on the inside of you. Nothing good can come out of you. I said you. So stop waiting on someone around you. Stop waiting on people to hand you the, um, the button. Stop, 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 you know, waiting for anyone to give you a chance. Take your chance. Celebrate yourself. Right now, look at what this lady said in Second Second Kings chapter four, verse two. When the widow went to meet the, the prophet uh, prophet Elisha, complaining about how her husband's her late husband's debtors 
wanted to, to, to take her two sons, you know, as a shorty since the guy couldn't pay. And here what the, the prophet asked her. He said, and Elisha asked, said unto her, what shall I do for thee? Tell me what hast thou in thine, in thine house, in the house. And she said, thine heart made had not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. In other words, what she's saying is, I don't have anything. And you could just be sitting down there right now in your living room. You're just sitting down on your balcony. Maybe you're watching a movie. You're just trying to wide away time. And you're just, you're just telling yourself, you just bought into the lie of the enemy that you don't have anything. There's nothing to you. There's nothing to offer. You know, there's, there's nothing more to you. He said, I don't have anything. That's what she said. She said, just a pot of oil. I don't have that much. Forgetting that the, the, the little, so to say, that is well maximized and, and, and her nest will suffice. And that's what, what played out in her life. He told her, even that oil that you have, that oil, God can work with, that thing you think is, is insignificant, that gift, that strength that God has given to you, all right, that you think doesn't mean anything, even that one, God, God can work with it. God can use it and bring out something, something meaningful that the world around you would, 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 would celebrate. And he told her, go and borrow vessels. And she did. She was obedient. And she kept filling and filling and selling off the oil. And that was how she was, she was able to pay off all her debts. And, she was, and herself and her children were able to live, you know, um, survive from the rest of it. From the rest of it. This entails you taking personal responsibility. Do you know that? It entails you taking personal responsibility to find out what you can do. There are some persons who feel handicapped when unassisted. You see? But you can never know how good you can be at something until you try. I have never heard of progress or any one achieving anything without making effort. I'm still yet to find one who did not make any effort and was able to make progress, was able to achieve something meaningful. Because you cannot get anything done if you don't try. Thank you for listening. We do hope you have been blessed by those wonderful life transforming words. Join us next week for another episode of Live Your Life with Love It. For more information, log on to our website www.liveyourlifeinternational.com. Follow us on all our social media platforms at Live Your Life International. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Live Your Life with Love It for more powerful messages. For prayers and counseling, call plus 234-8032-957161 or plus 234-8055-418986. Call and WhatsApp. You can also send your questions to loveitministry at gmail.com. Live your life, life according to God's purpose.